What's going on, world? It's your boy, Kuya P. This is the NR Dub. I'm here with a, my pals, Full House today. We're going to blow it up. Um, I've got Glenosaurus, uh, the cat that levels us up, and of course, Heather Hurts. Um, Y'all ready to do an uh, infamous trailer react for a project called Oppenheimer from Universal? Yeah. All right, let's blow, blow it up. up. Here, here we go. Yeah. I mean, they already did. We really don't need to do it again. Yeah. Many people died the first time. Yeah, you know what? That's kind of a bad. Yeah. I this is a national that. emergency. <laughs> Didn't need a charge. You know what? I feel really bad. I said that. <laughs> I know. I'm just giving you. I'm shit. just like, why did I say? No, that? no, you're good. It's fine. <laughs> It's about bombs, people, but it's a bad bomb, and we shouldn't have done this. But if the Nazis have a bomb, I'm trying to just entertain you. That, but that was bad. Anyway, I have a 12 month head start. Matt Damon 18. with a mustache. How could you possibly know that? Look at that mustache. We've got one hope all America's industrial might and scientific innovation connected here. Secret lab. Who's playing Oppenheimer? Who's that guy? I can't remember his name. Keep everyone there until it's done. Let's go recruit some scientists. Build a town, oh, no. build it fast. If we don't let scientists bring their families, we'll never get the best. Why would we go to the middle of nowhere for who knows how long? Why? Why? How about because this is the most important thing to ever happen in the history of the world? You're the great improviser, but this... You can't do in your head. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Near zero. What do you want from theory alone? Zero would be nice. This is a matter of life and death. But I can perform this miracle. World War II would be over. Our boys would come home. That's happening, isn't it? The world will remember this day. Our work here will ensure a peace mankind has never seen. Until somebody builds a bigger one. You are the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. And the world is not prepared. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Truman needs to know what's next. Two. What's next? One. Wow. All right, there we go. Oppenheimer. And the answer is Killian Murphy, Scarecrow I... from Dark Knight Rises. Yes. Thank you, Heather. Or for Peaky Blinders, whatever one you like. <laughs> All right. Well, Heather, since you're up, uh, what do you think about that project? Um, I mean, it's a Nolan project. We saw the entire film in three minutes. And now we're going to get get it in three and a half hours. <laughs> I mean, that's just Nolan for you. Yes. Um I think it's going to be an absolutely beautiful film. I think it's going to be drawn out in unnecessary ways like Nolan likes to do, but it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be masterful and it's going to change the way some types of films are done in the future. Um, but it's going to be a very long film. It's going to okay. be a very, very long film. All right. How about you, Glenn? I, I think... Uh, I deservedly so i think you know when you're talking about people who figured out how to destroy planets like yeah it's like <laughs> i want a long explanation of what the fuck what the hell they were thinking and the other thing that it may be that all like nolan things are is loud it'll probably be very loud very loud it'll be very oh the audio is gonna be insane but it's gonna it's gonna really hit you in that dolby yeah and, and there's gonna be it's gonna rumble and shake 
uh just as if uh, an explosion had gone off it looks it looks cool i mean this this is a story that um you know the, the thing that i uh, i feel like we always get stories of history and then people take that as the gospel and then no longer investigate history you know what i mean so that that is one thing that i'm i i worry about but i do want to see the story told and told in in a nolan way that's uh very interesting he's he's done I don't know. He just got off of the superhero thing, and now he's doing like, uh, you know, like he did like time travel and time jumps before, um, and now he's doing, you know, the the nuclear thing. It's like, what is when's he going to do his alien movie? That's what I want to know. I want to know when you're going to when you're going to do an alien movie, Mister Nolan. I want to see what he thinks about that. Um, but yeah, it looks good. I want to see it. All right. Um, first off, uh, I just want to apologize again for my earlier comment. Um, it's I was a totally very, joking. Oh my gosh, you're fine. I meant to be. It was very jokey, but I know. And just in case uh, we have anybody that was affected by, you know, Nagasaki, to, you know, relatives, all of that. I just want to be considerate for you all. So uh, just my apologies on that. Because I when I the think about at the same history, time, when I think about history and I think about this story, I think, well, in regards to the film, this looks beautiful. Um, Nolan's a masterful storyteller. To uh, Heather's credit, he can go be a little bit long-winded and, and long, long in the tube. Long shot. But uh, I think, you know, he he is a masterful storyteller. He he knows how to construct a film. Um, and so, w which will be very inspiring and better, very entertaining and educational. But I will say, you know, uh, and to you, to your point uh, as well, Glenn, um, we, I want to hear these stories. I want to hear they're told, but also I hope that it provokes people to actually read more outside of the film and not just take this as all consuming and what everything is all about. There's more to the story. So please learn more about the story. And yeah, I just, I, I'm sad about the, this story in, because I think we all are. The, this story is about how somebody learned how to, to blow shit up and could possibly blow up the world. And I, that this is a this is a huge moment in our in man's history, so uh, it'll be epic to hear how, how it's told. But I hope we learn the lessons of this. We research things, and we don't commit the same acts as the past have done by virtue of learning these tools. So anyway, don't want to get on the soapbox because we don't do that here, right, Heather? We don't get on the soapbox. I've never, I've never so, gotten on a soapbox. Uh, if y'all want to talk all things Oppenheimer, reach out to us, Heather. How can the people reach out to you? Sure, you can reach out to me about those incredibly long shots and how mad you are that I would ever say anything bad about Christopher Nolan. It's not bad. Uh, at Nerd is a Heather on Twitter and at Heather is a Nerd on TikTok and Instagram. Thank you, Heather. And how about you, Glenn? Uh, you check me out, Level Up Comedy, uh, all things social, levelupcomedy.com. Glenn Levels Up on Twitter, Glenn Lawrence Comedy on Facebook and IG. There you go. Follow my peeps. And for me, it's the Legend Cooey P on Twitter, TikTok, IG Hive. And of course, here with Heather and Glenn at the NRW and at Release Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. Let us know if you are checking out Oppenheimer in the comments below.